Welcome back to the Stay Home Garden Lesson. This week we're going to be making our paper pots and getting a little creative. We at OSU are collaborating with the Umpqua Valley Art Center this week. They'll be showing videos on how to paint with chlorophyll. And if you follow along with this video, you'll learn how to make paper pots out of newspaper or just paper laying around. And if you went to the art center today to pick up your art package, you can use all the supplies in that for what we have in store. Um, we're gonna use old newspaper, just some water, mix it together in here. And then I have different molds to try to mold the pots into. Um, and I'm going to try to do mine a little bit creatively, hopefully, today. So I've got some leaves with really cool patterns to it um, and tiny little flowers. Uh, so let's give it a go. We want to make sure our newspaper is shredded up to nice little bits. Okay, so now that I've got my paper torn into smaller pieces, I'm going to add water in. Now if you add too much water in, that's okay. We can always squeeze it out later. Now this might be easier in a taller bin, um, so it doesn't splash you as much. But you just want to act like a blender. You want to smush it all up. Okay, so now that my pulp is all ready to go, I'm gonna scoop some of it in to each pot as I go. I might squeeze a little bit of it out and then press it into the walls first, probably. You can let that extra water run out we don't want too much extra water in there. That will make it take longer to dry. I'm going to make the shape of this pot according to whatever I want to plant. So I'm going to just be starting seeds in this. It's okay that it's a bit shallow. Now I'm putting some for the floor. I want to put a few flowers in here, so I'm going to push this down, stick a flower on the wall, and then put some paper mache on the back side so it seals it to the, the wall. Now because this is glass, I can see where the flower is. Um, my other forms, I might not be able to see where it is, but I at least know when it dries, it will be there. Okay, so now I have my first pot made. Um, you can go around and see the different petals that I put in here. Now the next one I'm gonna wanna make maybe with leaves and things like that, just to test it out. So I'm using natural things that I found around in my yard, leaves, flowers, maybe we can do some sticks in there if you'd like. Um, feel free to get creative with anything that's grown in nature that you find in your yard and you're told you can use and put as your decorative wall on the outside. So we're gonna let these sit and dry. Probably you wanna put them in the sun or in a window that gets lots of sun. All right, so my pots, my paper pots are dry. They um, popped out of their cups, some of them easier than others. Um, and I will show you guys what I did. So uh, one of them, this one, uh, obviously did not work quite as well for the leaves to stick into the paper um, cup where this one worked really well and I actually love it. I think it's quite cute. I think because there are less parts of it to stick to it, it worked a little bit better. And then my flower um, cup is not as great because uh, the flowers dried. It took too long, so they turned brown. Um, they were small, tiny little blue petals, so I think maybe if I had red, um, large pieces of petals, that might work best, and I might give that another try. So I think for now, my conclusion is that these little leaves, or the bigger leaves, um, work the best. So what I did, they were stored in three different types of containers and they produce three different uh, shapes. <laughs> they produce three different shapes of pots. Um, this one came out of the cup, which 
is definitely the easiest one, I think, to do. Uh, it's more malleable, so you can squish it and push it, almost like when you're popping a, uh, a starter out of a starter tray. So it comes out quite easily. Um, you do need to fidget around. Every once in a while, you can stick a knife in the sides to loosen it up. But if you can move your cup around, if it's plastic or paper, it comes out quite easy. Now, for the larger paper one that was in the mug, again, um, use the knife a little bit, if you can, to push it around. Um, I felt that the ceramic one um, worked second best compared to a paper or plastic cup. Uh, it took a lot longer to dry. However, I felt like it removed itself a bit easier than the glass jar. The glass jar, I definitely had to stick the knife in. Um, so it was in there like this and I simply just worked the knife around and kind of moved it a little bit to create some space and then smacked it upside down and kind of pulled it a little bit out each side at a time and it came right out. Um, a little bit of it stuck to the bottom of it, but it wasn't that hard of a tug. So I think using a knife to separate the sides from the wall of the container is a really great idea. So now that I've done that and I've got these cute little cups, I can fill them with soil and plant my seed right inside. So I will fill it like all of my other starters, not quite to the top, about an inch below. Fill it with soil to start your seeds, put your seed in there, water it really well. Now realize when you water this, if you water it a lot, it will seep into the paper wall. Now if it's really thin, like this one, um, it may start to deteriorate. That's okay. Just put it on top of a container lid is what I use like a, a yogurt container or a hummus container top, a little plastic top. That way if it starts to deteriorate, it doesn't make a mess. Um, but that's important. You want this to deteriorate by the time you want to transplant it. So when you go to transplant it, you want to make sure you get all of this as wet as possible before putting it in the soil. Um, another thing to keep in mind, just like when you are growing in the egg cartons, uh, the paper will dry the soil out a little bit faster. So you're going to want to water this maybe a little bit more than if you were watering it in the plastic uh, starter kits. So if the walls are a little bit thicker, like this one, um, the bottom, the base of it is quite a bit thicker. I wish this stuck. The base of it, it is quite a bit thicker, uh, so the water probably will not penetrate as much as it would in this. So you can make your paper pots um, different sizes. The walls can be thicker or thinner, depending on what you want to do, if it's just to start. Or you can make a really big one of these, um, quite a large one, and uh, see how long it holds a plant in soil. Then the more soil, that's the bigger that is, the more soil it in there probably the less wet the pot will get, so the longer it will survive. So give it a try, um, and maybe try to make yours decorative like I did, and let me know how it goes. Please send pictures and post to our Facebook account. I'd love to see what you guys are up to, if you use different flower petals, or maybe even if you have a flower that's very colorful, mix it in with the batter before and see if it will change your cup a whole different color. Um, I hope you guys are great, and let me know how it goes, and send pictures. I'd love to see how your projects are, and enjoy the garden and seeding. Bye. Have a great day.